Hey, welcome back to the Molly Stash Show. Come here, come here. But, shh, we gotta keep it quiet. It's Tuesday at about noon, and we decided to take the day and go bird watching. What brings us out on this marvelous day, you ask? Well, I received my new bird watching guide. Um, don't mind the title Complete the Hunt, really. It's a, it's a bird watching guide. And we're going to be filming today in parts as we go through this book. And we want to find the, uh, the birds that are on the ingredient list in this book so we can have a nice juicy dinner. So there might be some editing done, which I usually don't do, but we need to... Oh! It's a whole gaggle of Christmas dinner. Geese. Oh. Look, I brought my faithful retriever hound. Well, I don't know if she's a retriever, but out of all the dogs, she's the only one that can swim, so we figure we'll give it the best shot. Anyway, for now, I see something over there I want to go take a closer look at. So we'll see you in a little bit. I know it's not bird watching, but I think that might be something we could find in my bird watching manual. So either that might make a really good lunch or it's going to give us rabies. So we will go investigate to find out. Welcome back. After our raccoon scare, we came across these. Now, they weren't in our cookbook. I mean, our bird watching guide. But I call them lunch. Uh, and luckily, look at the size of that beak. It comes with a built-in toothpick. So, I think that's gonna be a delicious dish, whatever it is. Ooh, mm. Also, we see these things. And I don't know, they don't look like there's a whole lot of meat on them, but I think it could go good in a nice pasty, maybe. These also have built-in toothpicks, so they look delicious. I'm sort of freaking out because that raccoon is like spitting distance away, and I have no clue why a raccoon would be this close to people, unless it's rabid or hungry or in need of help. I just need to clarify, when I say a raccoon scare, I wasn't afraid of the raccoon. But for some reason it freaked out my dog and she sat there and she hid behind us. So, maybe she's not the right one for the, for the bird watching, but we'll find out. We'll be back in a little bit when we find something more juicy and delicious to talk about. All right, welcome back. We found some quail. This is very exciting for two reasons. One, I love how quails have a built-in garnish, that little ball on top of their head. It's like partially, but better, edible garnish. And secondly, because our bird watching guide suggested a nice recipe with a, a roasted mushroom garlic quail dish, uh, maybe with a nice little roasted sweet potato on the side. So I'm gonna see if I can talk my dog into stop being afraid and get us some nice juicy lunch. We'll be back. We hit the jackpot. It's a whole bunch of ducks. I don't know if they're called a flock, but they're just like a bunch of flowers just ripe for the plucking. Do you see this big juicy mallard right here? All I'm thinking is maybe some duck tartare with a raspberry truffle sauce and maybe some little quail eggs. That's looking like a delicious dish. Come here, little ducky. Ooh, and there's the appetizer of rabbit. We could get us a little lucky rabbit's foot. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be lucky for the rabbit. It'd be pretty lucky for us though. So we will keep looking and see what we can find. So Mully just wanted to show you, sort of do a pan of the wild where he's in. He's pretty far out, lost in the woods. Well, I guess in the oasis in the desert, but as you can see, there's not much around. As far as the eye can see, it's no civilization. Aside from the city right there, but aside from that, uh, we're pretty good lost in the woods. It's pretty neat. Um, yeah. 
this is actually sort of ominous and uh, I think they got tired of me looking for them so they decided to come find me I feel like I'm being hunted right now by a pack of ducks I mean it's just a lot and again the dog is hiding, hiding behind me so I think it's time for us to go ahead and get out of here so even though we haven't had a total wasted trip we weren't able to complete our shopping list we were unable to find a pelican which I've seen around here before and also we were unable to find a turtle so turtle soup is off the menu for tonight uh, that's okay because we still sort of had an eventful trip so I figured I'd better throw a disclaimer in for PETA and the like which I actually don't get PETA because I think PETA stands for People Enjoy Tasty Animals which is true so I don't understand how they can be an animal rights group yet enjoy eating tasty animals uh, I understand I think there's too many E's in that but whatever anyway so my disclaimer no animals were harmed in the making of well I didn't harm any animals in the making of this video but she's enjoying her little snack. Turns out she's not afraid of rabbits, so that's good. All right, so I wanna wrap this up and apparently I am a Twitter user now. Big shout out to Big Talker 1986 for helping me understand the wide world of Twitter. Uh, make sure you follow me at Molly Stash. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe and also turn on notifications. So when you do subscribe, I don't have to text you to remind you that, hey, I posted a new video. So that's what the notifications are there, and obviously there's a pattern, I post a video every day. So tomorrow's video, I actually have an idea I want to run past you, uh, it's sort of exciting, something I'm passionate about. So until then, this is Molly Stash.